So, yeah, just before we start our singing today, um, I just want to share something that I learned just in this last week in my travels. I was listening to our Christian radio station here in New Zealand, and we have shared before how that Jesus sings amongst us. You read that in, in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 12, that he, he sings, he gives praises to his father with his brethren. And, you know, I've always found that to be a really neat thought, the fact that, you know, Jesus actually sings with us, he joins with us. Um, and that's, you know, an amazing thing just to sort of think about that our Saviour is actually there. And although we can't see him or hear him, he's actually singing with us. But what about Father God? And um, there's actually a scripture in Zephaniah, Prophet Zephaniah, 3 verse 17 i've read this scripture many times but never really noticed the wording and i just want to read it to you it says the lord your god among you is powerful he will save he will take joyful delight in you in his love he will renew you with his love he will celebrate with singing because of you and that's reading from the isv the international standard version um, and yet what it's saying is that God will rejoice over us and celebrate with singing. And I thought, wow, that's such a great thought to think that not only Christ joins us in singing praises to his father, but Father God actually sings, he celebrates, he rejoices um, with us because of us being in him. And yeah, it's a great thought. Um, and the fact that we sing, and we praise our Father God, um, he, he as well enters into that with us. And, you know, when you think about it, it's actually, it's quite a, a basic sort of progression when you think that God created music, God created singing, you know, man learned it from God originally, but he didn't create it. So God created music, God created singing, because he is a musical and a singing God. So I just sort of share that before we get into our songs. So um, at this point, um, Candice.